all right guys so today we're in the inside of the car look at this because we're about to install some speakers so i ordered just three speakers the center one on the si has a center one i believe the type r has one too i'm not sure about the other models because my sister's car doesn't have it and i only see it on the si's online and then i bought these right here so for these i'm gonna take off the whole door panel i didn't get the little tweeter things because those are fine like that but i'm looking for more uh loudness but also more bass so the bass part i haven't addressed it yet so i'm looking to see if any of you guys with temp gen civics or civics know how i can upgrade the bass but without a box like i kind of don't want a box because in my trunk it's kind of little but at the same time my dad was telling me that the box with the box and like a 12 inch back there or even a 10 inch um, that it'll be way better than just upgrading the stock um, subwoofer. So the stock subwoofer is back there in the center, right there in the center. Then it has two speakers and tweeters back here somewhere. I'm not sure where exactly the tweeters are at, but I'm not sure on my model if it has it, maybe on a sedan. I don't know guys, but I don't know about, about upgrading the subwoofer. Like I need to know before I purchase one because I found one that caught my eye, it's an Alpine one, but I don't know what it's gonna do really. But right now, so right now we're gonna do this. The center one, which is the easiest one. And then the door ones, which take a little bit more time because you need to take off the whole, the whole door thing right here. A couple screws and then just yank it off, you know, a couple tabs here and there. Then look at all those scraps, man, from the coming in and out right here, sitting down, crazy. But let's get it going. So I got this one right here for the center. All this, I got it on Crutchfield. Shout out to the homie, Tony Castillo. You guys probably watch him. I watched his video a while back. And then I watched this other video by another guy. I forgot your name, but he also made a whole video of upgrading all the speakers. So I watched both of those videos. And now I've gotten to the point where it's like, eh, I kind of do want a little better sound, you know, in the car. So I got these called the Memphis. I wanted Pioneers. First of all, like, let me make it clear, I wanted Pioneers, but I couldn't find them, they're out of stock. So I went with this one right here, because it was a good deal. And I only need one, that's the thing, I only need one, so I'm gonna give another one to the homie. And then, for those, I got some kickers, I'll show those later in the video, the lower door ones. And then the tweeters, like I said, I didn't get those. But let's get this one going, super easy, so it's just right here. Uh, Crutchfield, like they provide a tool, like they're the like Crutchfield. And then, bam, just, literally, I had, I had already started it. It's literally just this you just need to lift it up oh what the hell tell like it just popped up like that in there there it is there's the speaker there's the connector right there super look at that view easy and then there look bam so these speakers oem ones are like papel basically basically paper look at that damn bro damn it's crazy so let's look at the new one now so they say upgrading just the center one makes a huge difference in the sound quality already. But for the bass and all that, like the lower ones, the lower ones that they have a little bit of that oomph to them, um, you're gonna need probably an upgraded amp. And that's like the issue I wanna figure out. I don't know if any of you guys have done it. If you've upgraded your stock amp to a newer amp, upgraded all the speakers, even the, even the subwoofer in the rear, and no box, no box set up, no, no 12 inch in the trunk, none of that. Just the speakers upgraded with an upgraded amp. Does it make it better? Like, is it worth it to do that? Or is it worth it to just get a custom box set up in the trunk? That's what I'm trying to figure out guys. But this is the new speaker right here. I got the screwdriver because um, I need to take out the screws right here on this one. But look, this is the new one. Damn. Let's look at them right now in comparison. Let me take off the old one first. Yo, so the build quality, guys. So look, right off the bat, this one, the new one, the Memphis one, it's heavier. You could tell it's bulkier, heavier. Although it's the same size, it's a 3.5, I believe. Let me check what it says in the box. Yeah, 3.5 inch speaker right there for the center. Oh, look at that. It's it's more bulkier. You can already tell. More more higher quality build. This one feels like freaking paper, yo. So lightweight, like I already smashed that thing. Like, damn, bro, look at this. Like, yo, that's crazy, that's crazy, yo. 
Damn, man, so cheap ass speakers, dog. Crazy. Crazy, crazy, crazy. Damn, look at that. That's funny. That's funny. Um, it's crazy because I was watching the video, the homie Tony's video. He's like, it's like paper. Yeah, it looks like paper. Literally, the speaker. Look at that. Like what? Damn, this one upgrade will be will be a big difference. They say the biggest difference is what I've read in reviews. Upgrading just this one. So look, look at that. Damn. So basically, you just put it right here now. Just line it up. Look at that. Bam. Just lines up right there, and then you just screw it back on with the two screws that I took off. Super easy. And just like that guy screwed on look at that the build is just way better so this is actually the first time i'm ever i'm ever messing with audio in a car i've never messed with audio before with uh my first car i never messed with the audio but this is this one right here so then i just need to figure out um this i believe so they give us the cables right here the connectors so i believe we use these instead of this this is like like to put it, you're putting an upgraded amp, I believe. So let me put that back and let me use these right here. That, that crutch field gives you with the speaker for free. And it is the Honda speaker harness. So that, let's put it on. And that's what I like about crutch field guys is that they provide you with this stuff and they tell you what fits your car. And it tells you if you're gonna need to do some modifications, if you're gonna need to do this, do that. So it's just pretty straightforward. Um, one of these is more little, look, this one, is a little more like if it focuses if it focuses guys i'm using this iphone 13 pro max like this one is a little is littler and this one's one flatter this one's smaller and then the connectors literally this is the little one and this is the bigger one so super easy super easy install on the center speaker the door ones are gonna be a little more challenging because you need to take off the whole door but should be fairly simple still fairly easy so let's stick let's change out the center one now all right guys and just like that hell yeah easy easy it's just freaking hot super hot right now outside guys it is freaking 106 degrees outside and i'm in this freaking garage it's open it's open unless i'm not dying fully but still man it is freaking hot super caliente man so i'm gonna just do this for now and then finish up the other ones when it gets more cooler because hell no nah, guys yeah, it's way too hot so let's i'm gonna see how there's some bumps by itself upgraded supposedly this is the biggest difference the center one for the s size right there so let me check it out here yeah and then i'll show you guys everything when it's done all right guys little manchas on the puerta right here you know like i said earlier but so to take this off it's fairly easy so thankfully crutchfield you know they sent the tools and basically you should be able to through down here somewhere i saw i saw tony's video that he just uh put a little a screw down here a screwdriver or something and it went in and then he was able to just pull this part out so let me see right here i think i see it right here a little slit right down here damn imagine it's broke right in my face yeah, somewhere down here. I don't know. I'm going to try to figure it out right now. I'm going to use two. I'm going to do two-handed. So let me put the camera down. All right. So, yeah, guys. There is a little indent right here. Literally right there, right here. And apparently, I just used this. And it worked out. I just shoved it in there. Boom. Way easier. So then it's just one, two, and three. And then we could just yank this thing off. We just got to use those tools that provided us. And then just slide it through like through here one or in there somewhere and then just yank this thing out then up and it should come up and then access the speakers down here and for those i got these look they even came with the, the brackets i need and i got some kickers i got these right here should be good should be good my dad was telling me that the best of the best is jbl and what's the other one? pioneer like i said i wanted pioneers but i couldn't find them so if i don't like these i will upgrade to some pioneers later and i could put these in my sister's car you know no big deal i could get pioneers later but then i'll know how to do it all i could just put these in my sister's car same car basically but hell yeah let's get it going guys like i said one two three all right guys so it's not these two it's one two look at that. there's there's one down there there's one down here there's one down here there's a hole down here that i didn't even see but it's right there 
That's fine. I already took these off. That's fine. But there's one straight down here. Because I'm yanking under here. I just want to come up, but it's straight down here. So let me get that one out. All right, guys. So I took off the door panel. Don't make my mistake of taking these two off. Take off this one at the bottom. Then the one up here. And then just lift it up because look, it's being held on by this. Weird. And then make sure you disconnect this from the, the control buttons on the door. And then, so this is the new speaker right here, a kicker. Bam. And then you're supposed to get this with the kit. Literally, a uh, Crutchfield, they send you this. Where'd I put it? Oh, shoot. Crutchfield literally sends you this right here, the bracket. And then you're supposed to put the, sh the, the speaker on here. And then this goes on the car. Gets hooked into the car. It's like a, a weird thing. Like, we just one hole. There's two screws that come with it. I'll show you guys right now how to do everything. Should be simple, but it just looks a little more complex because it's the, the whole door panel and all this other crazy stuff that these speakers come with. They come with a whole bunch of cables, but that's for custom amps and all that. You're not going to use that. You're going to use the cables that they provided, which are these right here for the Honda, the Honda cables. All right, guys, look, I took it off. Here's the paper speaker. Look at that. Show the other shit. Look at how thin it is. Look at that. That's crazy. And then here's the new one. And like, again, this one is more hefty than now. Now this literally weighs like ounces, huh? This one weighs like maybe, what, like two, one, two pounds, maybe? Like two pounds? That's like like one and a half something. Doesn't weigh that much. That one weighs like nothing, huh? So this one, now we need the bracket. So the bracket basically, I believe it gets lined up with, there's one hole right there on the car already. And then here's the connector. So make sure you know where that's at. You could put, put, shove that in for now. This can go right here. Oh no, there's two holes down here. Look, the two holes line up with the two legs right there. Boom, boom. Might need to flex it out a bit like that. And then bam, bam, oh, it's easy. Then there we go. And I believe we could just use the, the OEM. No, the OEM screw is too long because look how fat that is. Yeah, that's why it was, that's super fat. This one's a little more skinnier, so we use the two new screws. Okay, that makes sense. So that's cool. All right, and then for the speakers, I believe you may need to drill holes. So I'm, that's what I'm trying to figure out right now. Like, will I need to drill holes on it or, or what? Yeah, I believe I might need to drill some holes in it, which is going to be kind of weird, kind of sucky. We'll see right now. Hell yeah, guys, so look easy. So the brackets, they come with little slits. Uh, they come with little slits, like, you can tell right there, there's one, because I kind of started it to test if it would work, and then I forgot to plug it in. So then I took off the two screws I already put on and plugged it in, and then now it's all good, and it's sturdy as hell. Super sturdy, man. It has, like, slits, and that's where you put in the screws, and then boom, right there, bam, four screws being held on, plugged in, and it comes with this. Uh, this I was supposed to put the screws on over this, but I don't need this because this is basically what the door has already like the cover, the covers, you know. So I don't need this, it already it's gonna be protected by that right there. So now let's put the door back together and move on to the other side. Hell yeah, that was pretty, pretty simple, straightforward once the door panel's off and everything. So, hell yeah, hell yeah, guys. So, door panel's back on, like I'm screwing on the screw. So um, let me let me fix myself because I told you guys the wrong thing. So don't take these two off because I almost stripped this one. I kind of did. I just let it loose a little bit. This one's tightened. But these are the screws that matter. One, two. There's a little circle right there. You can kind of see a little circle, little circle, in the editing post editing right here. You might see a little brightness. But look, right there's a circle. Pop that open. There's a screw right there. And then there's the one down here. The one I told you guys right there. Like, all right there's an indentation and it goes right there and that's pretty much it those are three those are three screws that matter not these two nah i saw the video wrong on tony's i'm like what the hell and i got confused but nah this is the i gotta do it so three screws one two three damn this dirt this door's even uh, dirtier holy shit i'm gonna clean these right now when i'm done but uh, once again guys one one, it's right here, look, I already took off the little taparera, screw it on there, one, two, three, down there. You can see it better on this side, because I got more light on this side. So, hell yeah, let's get it going. All right, guys, so this side has way more connections because it has more buttons. I think it's like separate, these three are separate from these, I'm not sure. 
and then you got your little out and out too so yeah it has more connections back there so i'm like eh, what if i just let it float like this i'm just letting it hold on like from right here and then i'm gonna just try to do it like this just to not connect all the cables and yeah save me an extra step here we go look at that i'm not even touching the thing so let's get it going and just like that guys the successful install of the door panel just up there hell yeah look at this screw kind of went a little too much right here look at that uh, it should be fine man this thing is all freaking sturdy can't even move it at all so let's put this back together clean it down and check out the new audio system it's super freaking hot guys but i'll make it quick i'm gonna make it quick so i love the speakers love the upgrade i highly recommend you guys upgrade your speakers on your 10th gen 9th gen 8th gen 7th gen any generation civic any generation honda any car upgrade your speakers toyota nissan honda etc upgrade your speakers unless you have already like some sony's or some bose bose audio is pretty beast so i, I heard that's on like the the accurate a spec that's pretty beast on the new 11 chance i'm not sure if it's in there or not i heard sony is teaming up with honda so we might be seeing sony speakers in the future honda but it's freaking beast man hell yeah like i don't want to get copyrighted guys but but the audio it sounds beast it sounds louder i'm playing on my down it sounds louder at level 20 it sounds like if it's like more closer to like 25 26 it just sounds that much louder it's a little more detailed and audio a little more rich in volume and the kickers they add a little thump to it but the real one that's gonna add the big boom and a thump is the subwoofer in the rear which i'm looking at maybe alpines i don't know guys but let me know what you guys think let me know what you guys think of the videos if you guys know about speaker stuff and all this and that how to upgrade amps should i upgrade just my oem amp to and the alpine one i'm looking at i'm looking at an alpine one or or a jail audio one it's an eight inch back there eight inch um it says if i go to four ohms it messes it up but i heard you can make a four ohm into a two ohm channel thingy i don't know about that stuff guys i i got everything off crutch feel like i said crutch feel shout out to them for making it a simple process freaking sweating because it's freaking hot as hell and i don't want to turn on the car fully but but guys like i'm telling you it's it's freaking beast man upgrading your sound system this is the first time i've touched sound system on any car mic on them two cars so far two cars first time touching sound system and that's just upgrading the speakers now an amp that's why i'm asking you guys should i get a box set up in the trunk like put in a corner somewhere the only issue is my trunk there's like no space you know like i like the space I like carrying things here and there carry all my detail shit back there sometimes i'm carrying extra stuff like maybe a suitcase or something you know i need space enough for like a, at least a suitcase so what should i do should i just upgrade this this um this thing back here but then how do i upgrade the amp amp is down there and i haven't even looked into it on uh, how to do that i haven't found really videos on how to do that exactly how to upgrade that amp usually people they get an external amp and just hook it up to the base the subwoofer external one or can i just hook it up to this one back here like, like those are the things the questions that i have i'm not really sure about audio like that my dad knows a good amount he used to mess with it a whole bunch so i've been asking him how to do it but it's like i kind of i don't know what to do right now. i'm like iffy i'm like should i just get a box set up in the trunk or should i just upgrade that back there because like i was saying it's a struggle it might take a couple hours back there and I, i'm gonna need to get the speakers in the back too upgrading not the tweeters the tweeters we could leave uh, i'm gonna leave them stock like i said i just upgraded my two lower door and a center one not the tweeters and then in the rear in a future video i will upgrade the two speakers back there and then the, the subwoofer if i go with that route or a box setup you guys let me know what you think like share subscribe comment make sure to check out my other videos stay tuned like i said stay tuned dash cam video uh, more 360 videos coming out more installs thank you for the support thank you for 1.2 i mean 1.82 thousand subscribers maybe it might be 1.83 now but hell yeah guys at 2000 i'm gonna do another giveaway so stay tuned for that peace out now you can check the whip and peel, damn this ticket is ill, gear shifting smooth as butter, cut in and out of lanes, undercover, style, wow, my man brother, rear view, you can never fly by, homie, I will see you, Mark 5, change terrains if need be, thou shall never floor pass, I would let the ID before you act on,